Hello and welcome to part 21, 21 wow, of my Winds of Change video guides. Trading Blows. This quest takes place in Morning Vale Falls. Um, for this particular quest, I have chosen to re include a minion master in my party. The reason for that will become apparent soon. Um, on the way to the actual mission, I would suggest first killing off this group of um, wardens and using that to gain some minions. And again, the reason will become apparent. I'm flagging most of my heroes here. That is so that my healers are well out of range of my minion master. And the minion master is flagged separately. Um, you have to defend a group of Luxon diplomats, Kurzik diplomats, sorry, um, for this quest. And you can use their AI to basically get them away from the fight. They are monks, so they have a healing AI, they have some healing abilities. And when they see a, an ally in range who is taking damage, they will attempt to heal that ally. So similarly to what we did in Cleansing Haiju Lagoon very early on in the video series, we can use the minions, which are constantly lo losing health and thus constantly in need of healing to basically make the enemy's AI follow your minion master. And to do this, as you can see, I'm flagging Livia step by step and the Kurzik diplomats will follow along, um, attempting to heal the minions. And because they keep taking damage, they will keep following. Now you could probably use Blood as Power as well, but um, because there's three of them and there's only one of you, if you keep using Blood as Power, they will heal you to full and it'll, um, it'll just take longer and you are fairly short on time as you can see I've just about gotten them out of the way and the enemies start spawning. Um, unlike Haiju Lagoon the enemies here do actually need to be killed so it's not just time based but there's both Jade Brotherhood and Ministry of Purity enemies spawning and they are hostile towards each other. So as you can see I've sped this up again um, essentially wait until stuff has stopped spawning and until one side has completely defeated the other. In my experience, the Jade Brotherhood is superior to the Ministry of Purity in this instance. Um, it might, however, depend on, on the exact uh, composition of the parties that spawn and on which precise uh, mesmers or uh, ritualists spawn, for example, because they're, they have a variety of builds to choose from, usually. So after you've essentially dealt with uh, the enemies by having them kill each other, you just have to pick up the stragglers. Um, again, this mm, depends largely on exact spawns and how lucky the enemies get, uh, how many are left. In this case, I had a fair amount of Drake Brotherhood still left alive. Um, but this is not really an issue, you can't just uh, pull them. They can't do much against the prot spirits as long as there's only one target that will keep you alive for a long time. And you'll see right here, I basically grab aggro and just run back. And then because I stop moving, uh, this makes enemy aggro less likely to switch. And right here, um, the, the minions have blocked the melee. Uh, melee enemies and the casters have largely clumped up on um, in two spots. Most of them are in one and then there's two which ran a little further. But um, at this point it's just a matter of picking up the stragglers. It's not very um, difficult or dangerous. You can of course also just do the defend part normally but this is safer and easier because you can't lose from the diplomats dying. Um, and yeah, now it's just a matter of killing everything that survived the ministry's attack. Um, yeah, if you do this, do it this way, you should have a fairly easy time. Good luck, and I guess bye-bye. <laughs> 